a company conducted a study concerning the time spent playing multiplayer video games by players age 10 to 15 and their self-reported level of extroversion. There could be a connection because in multiplayer games you have to communicate with others, so maybe there's like higher levels of extroversion. A total of 81 players were selected at random from players age to 10 to 15 in a large gaming community in the US. The players were asked to report their level of extroversion as low, medium, or high, and the table summarizes the distribution of players. So we have, you know, all the numbers are pretty relative to each other in all the age groups. Down below, if the results of the study do suggest a relationship between the reported level of extroversion and the amount of time spent playing, maybe higher levels of extroversion led to people playing more, lower levels of extroversion led to playing less, you know, with other people. Which of the following aspects of the study will prevent the results from being generalized to all players in this group? So we want something in the study that co could cause a problem that we don't want to link this sample to the generalized pop population. So usually College Board's trend here is we want to find a bias, something that is not random in our study, right? Um, this is to go against when I see answer choices like A. I've never seen it be because the sample size is too small. So this one is almost always going to be wrong here. In B, though, I see the players were not selected at random from all players in this group. So what that could mean, like, bias-wise is instead of just choosing random people playing games in this age group, they specifically went to, like, clubs that were called highly extroverted multiplayer gamers, right? And that would be, okay, you're specifically choosing people that are probably higher in extroversion instead of random. So B is going to definitely cause a lot of bias. It's almost certainly going to be that. In C, I see they're not all from the same gaming platform. That shouldn't matter. All that matters is their level of extroversion and they're playing multiplayer games. It can be on any platform. And finally, in D, the number of selected players in each age group is different. The only time I can imagine that mattering is if this number was like 1,000 and this number was 10 because then it wouldn't be a good distribution of 10 to 15. It would be mostly 10 to 11, but that's not the case. Our numbers are pretty similar, so I think it's just going to be B here.